Get your career kick started today. Welcome to the career channel. Please subscribe to the channel so that we can work together to boost your career and maximize your earnings. It also motivates us to keep producing content for you and makes the world a better place. In this video we will advise you on how to get onto an apprenticeship to launch a career in robotics and artificial intelligence. In this video we will give you a quick overview of the kinds of jobs that are most in demand right now and how to apply for a role today regardless of experience or education level. Let's get started. To give you some ideas, here are 8 types of jobs in medical robotics that you can complete an apprenticeship in today. After a quick introduction to the roles we will show you the quick and easy application process. Machine Learning Engineer as a machine learning engineer, you'll be responsible for creating programs and algorithms that enable machines to take actions without being directed. The essential concepts in machine learning often involve statistical analysis and mathematical data manipulation. Machine learning requires software engineering, data science, communication, and problem-solving proficiency. Procedure Robotics Specialist these professionals work closely with surgeons and clinical teams to assist in robotic-assisted procedures. These specialists are involved in engineering and programming to create, build, and integrate robotic systems. They develop, maintain and implement program structures and oversee quality checks before delivery of product. Robotics Engineer In the medical field, robotics engineers focus on developing and maintaining robotic systems used in healthcare settings. They explore areas of application, where value can be added and how they could save staffing resource and increase efficiencies. They design, build, and test robotic platforms, develop software interfaces, and collaborate with clinical teams to integrate robotics into patient care pathways. Mechatronics Engineer Mechatronics engineers integrate mechanical, electrical, and computer engineering principles to design and develop robotic systems for healthcare applications. They work on creating robotic platforms with advanced sensing, actuation, and control capabilities to assist medical professionals in surgical and rehabilitation procedures. Robotics Researcher Researchers in the field of robotics within the medical sector conduct studies to evaluate the effectiveness, safety, and potential applications of robotic technologies in healthcare. They contribute to the advancement of robotic-assisted procedures, develop new techniques, and explore innovative ways to improve patient care. Clinical Application Specialist Clinical application specialists in robotic engineering work closely with healthcare professionals and end-users to provide technical expertise and training on using robotic systems. They assist in implementing robotic-assisted procedures, optimizing system performance, and addressing clinical needs and challenges. Robotics Technician Technicians in the field of robotics support the maintenance, troubleshooting, and repair of robotic systems in healthcare facilities. They ensure that the robotic platforms are functioning optimally and assist in equipment setup for surgeries. This role is the link between the company and the customer. They provide a range of support and expert advice at the point of delivery. This is arguably one of the most critical roles as it can decide success or failure of a project. Systems Integration Specialist Systems integration specialists play a crucial role in integrating robotic systems into healthcare environments. They collaborate with cross-functional teams to ensure the seamless integration of robotic platforms with existing infrastructure, data management systems, and surgical workflows. Now some quick information on the four levels of apprenticeship in robotics. Intermediate Level Apprenticeship Level 2 this level is suitable for individuals who are new to the field and have little or no prior experience or qualifications. It provides a foundation of knowledge and skills to perform basic tasks and duties under supervision. Advanced Level Apprenticeship Level 3 This level is suitable for individuals who have completed the intermediate level apprenticeship or have some relevant qualifications or experience. It involves more advanced training, allowing apprentices to develop a broader range of skills and knowledge in their chosen field. Higher Level Apprenticeship, Level 4 to 7. This level is designed for individuals who have completed the Advanced Level Apprenticeship or possess substantial experience and qualifications in their field. It focuses on developing higher level skills, knowledge, and competencies required for more complex roles. Degree Level Apprenticeship, 
level 6 to 7. This level is the highest within the NHS apprenticeship framework. It offers the opportunity to obtain a full bachelor's or master's degree, while gaining practical work experience, typically at level 6 or level 7, and provide a combination of on-the-job training and academic study. You can go to www.gov.uk website to register today. You can then apply for apprenticeship roles that are available today. As soon as you are registered, you are good to go. Start your search and find the perfect role near you. Once registered you will also receive updates every time a vacancy pops up that fits your search criteria so you won't miss out on any opportunities. For more information on other roles, please see our other videos. Please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Thanks for watching.